feel there. We're doing a straight elbow on this one. And when we, <clears throat> pardon me, when we come up, we're gonna lift those ribs, okay? So we want that lift to come through the core first, really, or, or along with the arm reach. We want it to feel like the <clears throat> waist is lengthening and the ribs are lifting. There's a lot of muscle in there that we can activate ooh, with movements like this that'll help us throughout the day. Cross over, opposite hand goes up. Come over here, cross over with the other foot. Opposite hand goes up, that's it. Good, beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful. Being able to look at and hear motor planning directions, that's what we're doing here, okay? Being able to make that happen in our bodies by watching and listening to someone else is a, is a really important part of our brain that we're tapping into. It's a mirroring. It's a connecting part of the brain, and it's just so good for our movement. It's so good for uh, our balance out in the world. And take the other foot off to the side, reach down with the opposite hand and go overhead. Good, that's it. Nicely done. Looks great, guys. So it's that nice lateral lunge step. We're sliding and gliding as we reach down. That translation that's happening through the hips and pelvis. Sliding, gliding is crucial for joint health, okay? <clears throat> we don't need rusty joints. We need slidey, glidey, slippery joints. There we go. This is how we get them and keep them. Nice work, okay? Backward and reach down with the opposite hand, okay? Gotta keep thinking here. It's really good for us. Good for our balance, good for our brains. Is your leg bent or straight? So <clears throat> that's a great question and everybody might be a little bit different, but probably ideally when we step backward, that stance leg kind of is pretty straight. Senses what the ground is like, sends the signal up to the brain, and immediately helps us stay upright, <laughs> okay? So the more we practice keeping those neural pathways open and flowing and talking, the better balance we're gonna have, the better movement we're gonna have all day. And if you got to get up at night, okay? All right, let's do three more. There's one. If we let those neural pathways sort of slack off, fall asleep, they don't know what to do. If we hit an uneven ground or something slippery or it's dark and we stub our toe, this is what we're doing, okay? We're making our bodies and our brains talk. Drop, reach my toe back, but I'm not stepping on it, okay? So I'm just gonna stay, wait on my balancing leg. I'm gonna tap that toe back. Then I'm gonna tap my toe forward and reach up, okay? Tap back behind me and then forward and up. You decide how low you wanna go, okay? You make this work for you, don't worry about anybody else. Not a bad idea to have yourself near a wall or counter, sometimes even just visually, having something stable there next to us, okay? That's it, good stuff. We have to work on balance, single leg balance, <clears throat> balance with movement, working on balance just standing still <clears throat> is, is okay but it's only a small piece of the game when it comes to balance. We really need it when we're moving and when things come at us and when situations change, that's when we need balance. So that's why we train it with movement, weight, depth, distance, direction, all of it. 
Now, when we squat, we want to feel the weight through the back of the foot, the heels, right? We don't want to have the heels pop up. Our vision check here, okay? When you go down, if you see behind yourself or you see the floor directly underneath you, I want you to come back up and drop down so that you can still see in front of you, okay? Any kind of sport where we might jump or throw, okay? Or swing, this is good. And we wanna be near the wall because when we add that crossover there, it's a little wobbly, maybe. Here we go. And we're gonna do four more. There's four, good job, good job. Oh, my foot is working, I feel it. There's three. Spread those toes out, make your foot nice and big, like this in our warm up today, okay? So we're ready. This is good. Bringing that weight to the outside of that knee or thigh, tapping that opposite foot back. That's it. If you feel, if your toes are all scrunched up, or you only feel the weight going through maybe the outside of your foot, I want you to make your toes wider into the floor and keep as much of your foot in contact with the floor as you can. Make it bigger. Use the surface area for balance. Okay, we're gonna go three. The balance better. <laughs> good, good observation. Okay, so what Beth's talking about there is if I bring my legs straight back, then I'm getting that like rotation from my trunk loading from the top down into that move. What Beth is saying, she noticed if she crossed that leg maybe behind, right? Is that what you're saying, Beth? Off to the side or behind? That yeah. she felt more balanced. So that makes total sense because from the top, we're coming across and then from the bottom up, we're crossing midline. Do it a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either way, it's fine. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and face the wall. I'm far enough away so that when I lunge forward, my foot is about six or eight inches from the wall, from the floorboard. Going to stiff arm the wall. Okay. Now here, I'm just going to reach down and we're going to do some pulls keeping that stiff arm on the wall. So I'm facing the wall. I'm stiff arming the wall. I'm not going to let my elbow bend. Well, this one's bending. I'm not going to let the one that's bracing bend. Moderate. Get the feel. Then we're going to turn up the speed two times from here. Okay. Now, all right. Pick up the pace. We're in seconds gear now. <laughs> okay. So quick direction change. You go your you go your second speed. Don't worry about anybody else. We're just going a little bit faster than when we started. Good. Keeping the weight on the ball of my feet. I'm not letting my heel drop down. Yeah. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. High fives, everybody. Great, great work. I love it. Okay. Fill the lungs back up as you go up. Exhale down. Empty the lungs. Fill them back up. Next time you go down, go down and across. Same thing with the breath. Exhale down. Inhale up. 